Hey guys, so I just made a video on this lovely makeup look right here in this fabulous new wig that I got that I'm obsessed with. It literally sits on my table and I put it on every day. Is that weird? I love it. Don't touch me. Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing this lovely makeup look, um, I actually had a lot of fun doing it because once again, I started doing the look, had no clue where I was going, like literally I didn't even have some of the makeup in front of me like I would normally do, and it just came out awesome, like way better than I was expecting, and it was so funny because I guess midway through I was just like, let's add some pigment, yeah, let's do this, and it was amazing, so if you guys like this look as much as I like this look, definitely stay tuned to watch the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's see, so in the comments down below, let me know if you guys want to know about more about this new wig that I got. I do have another one that I'll probably, that'll probably appear in some other videos. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to hear about this wig and how inexpensive it was. Like, girl, like I would buy six more and still have, oops, knocking stuff down. But I'd buy six more and still have enough to pay rent. Yeah. Okay, so stay tuned for the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. To get started, I just took two pieces of tape and I applied it along the side of my eye so that my eye look could have a very clean and uh, sharp edge. I don't even know where for that, but I can't remember the moment. And I applied some Too Faced shadow insurance all over my eyelid and up under my eyebrows so that my eyeshadow will stay on and crease free. And then the first look color I started with was from the Sony Kashuk Neutral Palette. And it was just a brownish tan color that was a little bit lighter than my skin tone, just for a nice neutral color so everything blended really nicely and easily. Next I'm going in with a Makeup Forever color. It's 738. I don't think they do names for their colors, or at least for this one they didn't. But I just apply that all over my crease and underneath my brow bone. Then using the Sigma Blending Brush, I just blend through that out a little bit. Next, I, from that same Sony Kashuk Neutral Palette, I took a matte black eyeshadow with a Sigma Pencil Brush. And I just used that brush because it was small and I wasn't sure how much black eyeshadow I really wanted to use. So it just allowed me to apply a little bit of eyeshadow in small areas and kind of work, work from there. And after each application, I would blend it out with that single brush and then apply a little bit more and then blend it out just a little bit more to get that look, that clean look I was going for. So next, I took a flat eyeshadow brush in my MAC Blue Brown Pigment. And I just wet that brush with the Every On Spray and then I dipped it in the pigment and I applied it all over my eyelid. Super easy, super fun. Then I went back with that pencil brush and that matte black eyeshadow and I just applied it to the outer corner of my eye just to give it that little smoky effect. And then it was time to remove the tape. Once the tape was removed, I started my foundation process. So I just did apply my foundation, did my contour and baked a little bit off camera just because I feel like I've done that in many videos so it didn't really need to be seen again. And then I started to fill in my brows and I just took once again that matte black shadow for that same Sony Kashuk palette and I just filled in my brows. I'm still very new to brows so I don't do a lot to them. I just fill them in, a little bit of eyeshadow and I call it a day. I feel like it makes a world of difference without a lot of effort. Next I took that same Makeup Forever eyeshadow and I used a smudge brush and I just applied it to my lower lash line and then I took the pencil brush that I used to apply the black eyeshadow and applied that, applied that same leftover black eyeshadow to my lash line as well. Also off camera I applied my mascara to my top lashes which is Benefit They're Real, um, Too Faced Better Than Sex and the L'Oreal Bloom's Lashes and then on camera here I'm applying my Benefit They're Real mascara to my bottom lashes. After all my mascara was applied I started my highlighting process and so I was using the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator and I blended that out with my beauty blender and a little bit with my finger, all along my cheekbones and my nose and above my lip. 
And then I went in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Redhead and just applied that over the Josie Marin just because I felt like that added that extra pop that it really needed and it was amazing. Next, I started on my lips, and I decided to use the LA Splash Lip Couture in the color Criminal to start with. And then I thought, mm, this is kind of boring, so I wanted to add some more color to that. So I went in with the Jeffree Star Allure Lipstick in Breakfast at Tiffany, and I applied that over it and was like, oh my god, what did I do? Oh my god. And so I was like, let's add more purple, and that's what I did. <laughs> And then it came up with this color that I was really happy with and like this almost like lightly marbled effect. So that is my whole makeup look. Super easy, super quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure to leave comments down below if you guys want to hear more about this wig and its sister. And I'd be happy to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. See you in my next video. Bye.